talking about you're having an off week. Marisol. Oh, my left ear. Wish. Next chat. Hi, hi guys. How are you? Then you bust us off like. Then he's always doing something before the show, but I just want to drag her the entire period. But I'm not do it, right? Because today's a nice show. It's a decent show. Yeah, because we have decent people here. That's very true. Yes. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so. Yeah, him smells yeah. so good. I come down here and I say, Bamba, who smells so nice? <laughs> yeah, I'm, sorry, I'm just walking around here and look at a jewelry store the way. I'm yes, looking for a fragrance. Yeah, someone yo, him smells yeah. so good, I say. To be honest, well, yeah, hygiene, hygiene is a big thing for me. Like, I don't... You guys saw that thread where the people them said they only wash behind, like, them, them, them armpits. And then somebody, somebody was girl, so nearly run from the tweet. I'm frightened. <laughs> somebody was telling me about bombard. that. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a, and, and that conversation got into like a re, a full on conversation about people who know that they're stink, and they're not aware enough to know that they're stink. What? <laughs> what? No, what you know you, you have those people because somebody crossed me. I'm telling you, say somebody never smell them. Meaning you're not aware enough to know that you smell bad. So you're so supposed to rock your to... arm over the person's face like that? No, no as in. Somebody stink, but they're not self-aware enough to know yeah. that they're Oh, I get what you're saying. I get yeah. what you're saying. Yeah. And I'm, thing. Ju- I'm just that. Pr- I'm very hygienic. Like, Some people know them stink and them smell like the worst thing. Them smell like young smell mango. Smell like the worst. What the, young? What, what, the f- what are you saying? Yeah, but I'm not young? green mango yet. Netanya, can it you, un- can you start young, the show, please? Because they're really okay. getting me there. <laughs> so this week, we have our guests who already th- started speaking. <laughs> Perry, everybody know Perry. Yeah, quite Perry. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Everybody and doesn't know me. Nobody people in Asia and in places that don't know me. So I can't oh. say everybody. Everybody know Perry. Everybody <laughs> know Perry. Every- and the thing is, every time I drop a video, I'm like, why is he in my life? How <laughs> him catch me? Like, how him yes, see this thing? I always send them to me. Nisanya, I mean, this is no. I always send them to me. Nisanya, I always tell him about my business. No, yeah, oh, yeah, no. Yeah, must, yeah, yeah, Andred. Oh, you go through so much things. <laughs> no, I understand. Oh, every yeah, video. all. Oh, you, oh, you, oh, you want to go through Yo, so much things. I saw you post a video the other day about your ex being dead. <laughs> and like, I said, Bamba, that would have been my reaction because if anyone, no. Any one of them? If any one of them dead today, you know, let the matches on them. Ch- listen, I'm going to try to stay alive because if any of my ex them dead, it would, no, I'm not really happy. I'm not just going to finish it. Then you would like, I'm going to say, 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 I'm going if, an ex? if you are my ex, please link up because I don't remember you. So no, you say you're not an ex. Yeah, I have amnesia. Of course, mm. like Netanya. I don't have. I thought Netanya I had never Alzheimer's. remember nothing yet. That's also very true. <laughs> Big up <laughs> first, yes, and you're going to remember to me. Oh, up. yes. That she forgot. Big up Danny. She is my co worker. So I'm giving her a shout out. Wow. You allow your co workers to listen to this? She found it. <laughs> but, but, <laughs> By the way, guys, <laughs> let me just say I'm an avid listener of this podcast and I'm very proud of what you guys are doing. Oh, my God. Um, I think it's absolutely excellent. Um, I think you guys are, are like ahead of what's happening in Jamaica because mm-hmm. way back, like probably five, six years ago, I wanted to do a podcast. And I don't know if you guys remember Lauren or Lauren. Yeah, I remember. Yes, like we we're talking about doing a podcast to like. Up to a couple of years ago, I was having a conversation with Shella. I don't know if you guys know Shella. Oh, yeah. I was like, let's no, do a no, podcast. No, but no, nobody. you guys are doing amazing. And I'm actually subscribed to your podcast. Oh, because, yeah. yeah, because I'm an avid podcast listener. Like, I listen to the Some read. Some people don't know about listeners. <laughs> mm-hmm. Sadi. Wait, is that Shade? Of course, mm-hmm. always here. Was that Shade? <laughs> oh, your yeah, word pod. Was that Shade? <laughs> Is Shade here? No, it's that thing that we always do. We say some people we, don't know about. We? Right? Oh, okay. But yeah, I'm a avid listener of the re like brilliant idiots, the friend zone. Like I and listen to the, good things. To your list, yeah. I actually saw, saw some. People. I saw yeah. some. I saw some videos yeah. of yeah. um the podcast on um yeah. Twitter and stuff. But yeah, man, they're they're a good listen. Like you guys, so first of all, Bamcast Martin, you can actually be the loudspeakers network of Jamaica. So you could oh man, if we talk about the business, okay. Oh right, God, yeah, we're, yeah, we're, yeah. We're positive. Right, we're not about snooping. When I'm my time for my podcast, I want to, you know. Yeah, you I know? guess right there. If you yeah. want your podcast, okay. too. All right, mad. Okay, yes. so alrighty, yes. so everybody. Come I don't know about YouTube oh, and all these things. It'll come out strong like rotten teeth, but not lie. <laughs> It'll come out like rotten teeth, but not lie. It'll run out like belly. Video up on YouTube and all these things, but not lie. I'm, really so, out I'm here. laughing, but deep down, my bad mind said me never think about that. No! <laughs> Netanya, you're always like this. It's anytime somebody get a joke, and Netanya never think about she vexed. No, 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 no,
Una abono city, una abono tree mic. And yes, you're not a sheer mic. And I say, hi, good evening. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I yeah. pass over the mic. But now I want to come out. When I want to shoot the light. And I want to engineer. Well, I'm sure blue. I'm going to go to the smith. 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 I wanted to know what her role and function is now. I wanted to know what her position is. Let's see the audience. How you doing? I'm not allowed to come out. Woo! I'm sorry, that, that much. big up your sweet. Maybe yeah. man, I really love Perry from like the beginning of time. Maybe one day I'll show you a picture of us when we were like dusty, but not now. I'm not allowed to show you because I'm ashamed for show you how we did look. I was so hungry back in the day. Can you imagine really when my head did real time. big? But we're not allowed to that cast to the internet but come next <laughs> it's probably already out there mm-hmm. anyway thanks for um <laughs> so today's topic we have two in one as enough time mm-hmm. so <laughs> the first part is finding a career even though you studied something else mm-hmm. and boundaries then it was hot topic like she must name governor she full of boundaries we can't take it is any map? boundaries in your life because i see somebody tweeting you know so then you might think about my life yes Think about it. Stop, make your friend them pass them place and your dirty foot man fix it. But we won't go there now. Every, every week, week of boundary. boundaries, guys. Oh, you're the last one. We saw it. girl. Oh, I'm not lying. Pull a boundary. Let's have a mechanic. Love and then you get dragged. Love. Anyway, so. I'm not rush alone. Could I do it? Can you realize that nobody else could do it? Wait. Okay. Never mind. So that's a deal. Don't let me start. Career path. Too early. Come. Career path. So first thing is, I want to know what you guys studied. What about what you guys studied <laughs> in um university? What you study? I never remember, girl. Promise y'all, because I went through like a whole situation with you take. I'm just left. I think I was. <laughs> oh, makes sense. I think I was in what what name? Oh yeah. yeah oh, right so mad. All yeah. right. Um, I think it was. When you at Bizad? Oh yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Get it. Yeah, everybody, yeah, yeah Bizad. But <laughs> what I wanted to be when I was younger is I wanted to be a marketing manager. That was my vision oh. for myself. Okay. But then, like, I got into this real huge scuffle with UTech and then did all my money, and I was doing courses I wasn't supposed to be doing, and then they supposed to give me about money. And my mother, they have to come up at the school, mother. Mother, I university. I am big tough, but for sure you all it look away. Like my mother, for come out and be like, "What's happening?" When I understand, can I get back my money, please? Hey, and no, then but the man literally had to like said, the man look on her was like essentially, boy, sis. But you have to understand the system. I'm really caring nothing about it, but yeah. I just saw it go. So eventually, I just said I, I was I was gonna take a year off, and then a year turned into <laughs> forever off. Forever off. Got it. So um yeah, I wanted to be a marketing manager. Um, I ended up being a social media marketing manager. Like I owned my own, you know, oh, yeah. little social media oh, company. Yeah, I remember. Um, Perry Promotions. Yeah. Mm. So my now life. Me stand long I, time. No, I have been no, a, honestly, that I've, made me wanted to do the same thing. Oh, oh that's, oh, like that's so oh. sweet. You're going to feel old though. You're going to feel old though. But I was young. I was like 16, mm-hmm. 17. And like, you were doing that I damn was, thing. I was just out there like networking, meeting people. Just like, I'm, I was doing social media off of just being on social media. I never got to school to do social media marketing or anything. I'm talking, I'm doing contracts for groups of companies. Companies I can't, I, can't, I can't name now. Because you understand, but I was doing it for artists, groups of companies, events. I was like doing the thing. And um, it got to a point where, just a small backstory to where and I'm how Quiet Perry became. I was doing social media marketing to a point where it was no longer serving me, so I was no longer happy in the field, correct? Um, and it's a situation in which you pray about it, and then God say, you know what? You're not know, listen. <laughs> so I'm going to show you <laughs> what happened now. You understand? So it just so happened that all my contracts were up at that time. The mm. time in which I was very unhappy. Every single contract was up. And I said to myself, you know what? I'm not going to renew them. It was a struggle because one of the companies really wanted me to come back on. And I said to myself, bear in mind, you know, money nice, life nice, but after this, me no know what else me I got to do. You understand? So yes. it just so happened that I 
literally did not renew any of the contracts and I was just in a space for a while. Me I talk, my mother said to me, say, Rowan, want me to look at work now? Want me? Want me? What's happening in your life? <laughs> and it wasn't until I had a conversation with my now manager saying to her, you know, I want to create content. You understand? And of course, you're a stan from a long time. <laughs> yes. I remember myself back in the day, I was very popular on Twitter. Them time, them, if you have 5,000 followers, you're is- at. You were f- popular from like Facebook days. Like I need people to understand that you probably brought in popular online in Jamaica yeah. because no, for real. Like I've been and following I did, his life, and I did for not know while. how I became popular. I was just it was popular. just one of those things that just happened, yeah. and then he just owned it. So and I can say this because you know I YouTube. You. I was on YouTube. Yes. I don't even remember those videos, right? So I was doing those videos at length, like some long videos, but mm. I was very bitter. You understand? And I remember that. But it, Not the YouTube one, the Instagram ones when all, sorry, continue. Yeah, like me that <laughs> light me that me that you know me that light up some people. You understand? And I didn't want to be that person, so I private them the video they in. So I was having a conversation with my now manager and she was saying to me, Rowan, you need to, you know, bring down the content. Like hop in, hop out, get to the point and let the people them yeah. feel Get the joke and leave. Don't make yeah, it long winded. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. And it was just so it just so happened that that same following week, dub smashes were very hot that time. I don't remember about dub smash. Yeah. Where you would record, record um, um videos over audio. Mm-hmm. And I posted my first actually that wasn't my first video. My first video was an Oliver remake. Big up Oliver. Oliver? Yeah. Yeah. Um, from yeah, one of them old videos that I actually remade that video with the audio on it, and then I started doing dub smashes. I mean, I said, Bumba, this is a thing. Some vibes. Something I want. Yeah. You understand? I have four toes of follow one. I have 10k. 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 So much. Why? <laughs> Me? Me not understand. So until I started saying to myself, you know what? Maybe I need to take this seriously. 10 moved to 40, 40 moved to 80. I mean, I said, all right, cool. And then I remember precisely, I started like splicing other people's videos. So like, I don't even remember um, Ellie Diviner. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He had a video, right? And he was coming up when I was coming up and I spliced one of his videos and just, just take it, you know, <laughs> download it, splice it, add in myself. You Maybe. understand? And him repost it. And it just became a thing of like a community of just like, comedians yeah coming i up. realized that at that point like comedians are coming together mm-hmm. all of you um a, f- a few other persons were in the group as well and i could see that Which really funny. yeah the yeah I, yeah i saw that commercial and i really loved it because you know you're in funny, jamaica but you know, are you are you are you funny to the extent where you would put something together like you're sit and put pen to paper shoot that edit you're funny like you talk you're, uh, you're, yeah not, like, not, I, I don't think there are different kinds of funny there are different types. the thing yeah. is netanya is more of a candid funny like the funny we're talking yeah. about is a prepared funny what yeah. are you prepared for in life again nothing nothing no the thing all is, right you see me on the road and say <laughs> you know so you're funny i like your tweets make a joke i mean i say from where from where like that's not netanya that's like that's candid that's funny, funny. That's, like not yeah. organized <laughs> Yeah, me have a yeah, like a joke. Yeah, me have <laughs> eat, me have one conversation and then they're like, yeah. are you funny? no, like I've seen comedians and like people will like be like make a joke now and they're like, what? Mm. No, and then like they try to make a yeah, joke and it sucks and then you're like, I forgot to follow you. Kind of funny in real life. Yeah, and it's like but reality that's the, that's versus the, expectation. Yeah, because yeah, some of them, some of them, some of them, like personality wise, they're very funny, but. Yeah. Outside of that, outside of them, that, you can. Yeah, you talk to a wall. You understand? So, um, yeah, not Shade. Right? Mm-hmm. No, for not real. Not Shade, but facts. It's facts. Uh, it's just yeah. facts. Um, but, and they know too. But yeah, choosing so. career paths and stuff, um, I wouldn't say the path that I have now. I think it chose me. And I think everything else that I did previously <laughs> led up to this point so even the social media marketing, I use those tools to propel myself. So you see how god have an amazing mm. sense of humor amazing <laughs> because if i had not had that and it was so funny because the tools i would have i mean i forced people like spice and cecile me i said do this now do this now. it's not like it's not like they were unwilling but you know i had to be like the one to push to say do this now do this now me said, all right you know what do that so yeah choosing career paths i just I, I i believe majority of the times your paths choose you if you find something you love you wouldn't necessarily feel like you're working a day in life and i'm fully 100 percent like a believer of that because i believe people need to enjoy what they're doing facts, facts. like 
in recent times, I guess because I got up and just quit my job, mm-hmm. people find me inspiring. No. Yeah. yeah. No. Okay. I think no. that. I so think, then people have I been re- reaching out to me about like, I want to quit my job. I'm miserable. Mm-hmm. Somebody even reached out to me like last week telling me that her job is starting to make her like physically sick to yeah. how unhappy she is. And yeah. like, that's something that I wish I'd know one. And I think, mm-hmm. it, you know, it's just a matter of finding yourself. Yeah. Finding, finding yourself, yourself and yeah. finding where you're supposed to be because yeah. i mean yeah i never wake up a blogger or whatever mm-hmm. you would describe me as i surely didn't wake up as this i mean but at one point i thought i was to gonna be it. a doctor y'all doctor ash with saving lives and, then and I, I realized think, i was afraid of blood so. i think i think <laughs> I, I think a lot of those doctors and lawyers stuff it's um it's a subconscious thing because you hear it every single day. Ta- yes. Your parents and your friends around mm-hmm. and they're just like, oh, my daughter's you know, gonna be this, my daughter's you know, so you growing believe. up smart, growing up smart, I think I grew, I grew up smart. I think I probably took a detour, but I grew up very smart. Mm-hmm. Everybody's just like, okay, you're smart, so you have to be a doctor or a mm-hmm. lawyer. Mm-hmm. And I was just like, okay, you know, I've always wanted to help people. Mm-hmm. But there's so many ways you can help people. But as a child, you think how you help people is mm-hmm. to be a doctor. There you go. So that's why I wanted to be a doctor. And mm-hmm. over time, I realized, you know, studying the sciences and doing all of this was just exhausting because it wasn't nice. what I really wanted to do. And mm-hmm. I couldn't see how I was helping people. Now as a blogger influencer whatever you describe me as i see you myself help helping people, yeah. people more yeah. than i've ever imagined where mm-hmm. people look up to me and they come to me for advice whether it's with mm-hmm. career wise or relationships or whatever and it really touches me to be able to help people and you'd be people surprised at the amount of people person. who are looking at you guys as young i'd want to say influencers in the space or young persons in the creatives you'd be surprised that the amount of people are looking at you and be like wow i want to be oh, that girl per- that person yeah, yeah. no but i won't be me and, and it's funny like, and it's funny it's funny terrible. it's funny because you over here not have a clue what you are the girl no yes, that's actually you're not have a clue. clue listen if i had to do this podcast by myself oh no, would have so much episode uh, yeah yeah like yeah. <laughs> if it's not for daniel and martin me no member not one time then i was like listen to record the podcast i said wait when podcasts are recorded we don't know yeah. and, and so, so i was fully track, like so you know come we need oh, yeah. audition for like a net like, the thing is everybody out. was meeting up and everything and i was like guys on this podcast and everybody's already didn't say you're gonna come like so, you right, change cool. your mind they say, oh may ah. i come mm-hmm. <laughs> i fear something you know no but Case. um i wanted to be a lawyer because people say i love talk so i was like oh my god if people say i love talk i should be a lawyer just um yeah I, <laughs> which listen, i find so my, funny people are so in, insulting to that profession because yeah, being a lawyer yeah, is I'm, so much more than loving to speak I but it's just you know yeah. a lie yeah uh, wow <laughs> so every jamaican so, man would have be a lawyer I literally oh my studied god to, <laughs> <laughs> i'm sorry i'm sorry oh you're up to <laughs> you're up to burr winter is here no girl no. i'm sorry guys i'm gonna funny. understand your, your your affinity to man you no, love done man but today so with a man we don't understand so come girl choose a struggle no mistake pick, pick man. a side mistake man. hey i just know jeff nice you know i all on the dip on him side you know very true a drunkard is no i can vouch for jeff jeff has always been mm. a fine young man what an upstanding what person say? in society Where's, i know me no say you're a liar you're a liar too no, i'm not no. you're a liar too <laughs> wicked <laughs> jeff just nice like what january babes I know what all me. I don't know how to go like Jeff the nicest man for earth. Is this true, Jeff? Is this true? What you is? It's, oh, okay. As she tells, but him know. Wow. wow. Let's go. Wow. You're strong. Wow. Yeah. Anyway, um, <laughs> yeah. Lawyer so, girl. Mm-hmm. I actually studied to be a lawyer until I was like 17 and applied for law school. I never get in. Bumba. And them say you love chat. Yeah. How could it be? Sorry. <laughs> but the thing is, I realized that along the journey, because I was doing like literature, literature and history and them some day. So I say, boom, boom, I have a vibes in this. So I say, you know what? Vibes in this. Art cartel, yeah. ready? <laughs> That's actually Tommy Lee. Watch um, them dance out yeah, to you. Sorry. Okay, we're sorry. I was sorry. actually thinking about the rum. Oh, oh, street vibes. Street vibes. Mm. Hello? It's my salami, though. Yeah, so um, I was like, all right, cool. I was going to do accounting because I was already good in it. Account? Oh, you're yeah. a lawyer to accounts. Because like, the thing is, I, was to to I am glad she jumped to accounting because Netanyahu was my accounts tutor. I could have never have no degree. Yeah, that's actually very true. I'm a degree there. So Pam bookshelf now yeah, without Netanyahu. And like after practicing accounting for like two years, I said, no, sir. And I don't mean this. Mm-hmm. I was in university at the time. So I messaged my father and I was like, yo, Mo wants to change my major. He's like, where you going to do something, 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 something nice? And he's like... He couldn't block you? Then he's like, like what? <laughs> so I say, 
At the time, I had a friend that was doing IMC. Someone said IMC. What's IMC? I'm sorry. Integrated Marketing, Marketing and Communications. Mm, okay. Mm. You yeah, say they look fun because she keep like events. I mean, I said, blah, blah. Um, yeah. That's my actually was my like, major. No. Mm-hmm. So I was like, what do you mean? Him said, if you want to do IMC, you go back to school and do it with your own money after you be an accountant. Someone said, daddy, you call it. Not in those exact words, but I did tell him that mm-hmm. they kind of chilly. And he was like, yeah, I spend my money. And you already have like a year left because I was in second year. He's like, I have a year left. Just done it. Just done. At the worst year of my life. Anyway, I have <laughs> yeah, a degree that, in accounting yeah. now. You know what? You know what? You know. And just like Perry, I started doing social media from using social media. Yeah. And so like, my tweets, I mean, I say people are love. Come and say, Bumbo, babes, they're funny. You know, like, I remember my first <laughs> viral retweet. <laughs> Hold on, wait, you're sticking to yourself, but you're calling yourself so babes? Yeah. Yes, you're good as fuck. And then there's like, babes, they're funny. Babes, you're funny, you know? No, like. like you boost yourself on a regular. Always. Oh my like, God, she, it, you girl, you're hot. Yeah, you girl, you're cute today. <laughs> Sometimes I walk past my mom and say, good girl, you're goodie. No, that's <laughs> me, that's really love me. Love it. <laughs> and no. the thing is, I always try to bring my personality online. Even though, like, when I just started using social media, I say, people now see this, you know, like, my friend must see it in real life. My fr- like, people now see this. What do not see this now? Anyway, so, um, I just started tweeting more. And people are say, you know, you're actually really good at Twitter. And I'm like, that's, that's, that's and it's kind of weird. Jimmy. <laughs> I mean, I say, you're really, really, really good at Twitter. At Twitter. <laughs> you're really good at Twitter. <laughs> Hey, you know, what, like what, social. what skills do you have in life? I'm Hello, really good at Twitter. Yeah, really yeah that's my Twitter. skill. And then I realized that I like, there was a thing called digital marketing. Mm-hmm. Um, and I was like, all right, cool, I'm going to try it out. But the thing is, I've never studied for it. Even though I, do, you know, I don't study for it, I want to. Because I feel like if it comes from like my natural talent, mm-hmm. then if I study for it, then make a shot. Yeah. And I'm going to be like, one With of the, the people that everybody wants to study. I'm just doing a few courses because i mean i studied entertainment management in school so i wanted to manage artists okay within my first year of school all of my teachers were telling me don't manage artists so i said bomba what them build a program here for and what come tell me all, all of we don't be artist oh, manager wow. so it's either managing artists or doing events i like the events thing i know i start doing the event work and i'm realize i can't see mommy and my daddy mm. me they start get sad Wait, say, hold on. this Question. job is when you say events like event coverage or like planning the event no planning stuff. events is I a part of the deg- degree um the degree i did is a very small part marketing thing yeah so it's really planning events dealing with artists and that kind of thing i realized the event planning thing did really seem fun mm-hmm. but then when you're doing it it was really intense and i don't know if it was something that i liked Anyway, stop doing the event planning thing and I was just at home. Big and careless, which I enjoyed. I had no issue with it. That's my favorite part. And I remember <laughs> and I remember my friend calling me and saying, Daniel, you know this agency is looking for a social media person. I may say, All right. What next? Is this She's today? Like, no. No, no, this is about this is oh. in university. Oh. She calls me and she and I'm at home. Oh, just not the, doing this anything. Is, this is the content spring. Um the one was on the content spring yes. that company. Okay. okay. Right, yeah. mm-hmm. So she's like, you should go and apply. So I'm like, No, I don't think so. So she's like, What are you doing now? Like between school? Nothing. So she's like, So what are you going to do? Me? I'm going to be a starving artist. Like, I'm gonna figure out some way to you know turn one of my blogs into a big deal like mm-hmm. i'm just doing my thing and she's like no i think you should go because i'm going to apply as well and we're both going to work there the together I so i was like okay friend let's are go together today? yeah we are okay. hi friend so she said we're gonna go together we both went to the interview the interview was great they hired me basically on the spot and i was like girl mm-hmm. got the job when do we start together she's like they didn't pick me Oh, and I was damn. like, because they wanted two persons at first, and then they met me, and they decided they just want one. Damn. So then the way they, you agree. They can't help say a fabulous girl. So they picked me over my friend, and she wasn't mad. Hey, friend. And I started Woody working Woody. there, and that's when I got my real official start in digital marketing. Because before, it was just for my blogs and my personal brands, mm-hmm. but nothing serious. Mm-hmm. That's where I got my concrete experience from. That's where I fell in love with digital marketing, and that's what I've been doing since then which is like 2016 yeah mm-hmm. i think um based on the space that you guys are in and i admire you for wanting to go to school to get the piece of paper but <laughs> to me it's just like i'm not all it right perfect <laughs> so i think to me um i think a lot of these like you know entertainment management and you know digital media marketing i think these are acquired skills I think okay. a lot of these things you can learn over the years. And Facts. I think 
the more no, you, the more you get into the field, I think your resume will speak for yourself because half of the people out here school. never mind thanks because half of the people out here no girl I don't want to deter you either girl I you hear sir I hear sir I hear sir I hear sir you again out in a pain of life you understand I hear sir you know sir the time when I invite Perry and I come tell me upon a little coach you understand I started to do courses I'm a I can't even pass two minutes. Yeah. School turn up for me. I don't want to go up on profile and tell Ian, oh, I'm dead, sorry. Um, who, who's it now? <laughs> <laughs> who was it now? Um, um, Faye. I don't want to go up on profile and tell Faye, say, you know. I was I, meant to go back I, to I, school. school about Perry. The one Perry tell me, say, you know what? Nobody go for the piece of paper. No, no, do that, girl. So, um, I think a lot of this is acquired um, skills. Um, I think a lot of it is experience because Wendy can tell you, Wendy, Wendy, Wendy Williams, yeah. she went to school for broadcasting and all of what she learned on the job in the road in the they might teach you for mix on them something there and you know or for switch over and all i mean you understand you learn a lot of things in the in, streets in the field in you understand and half of people them who field. manage artists are them cousin yeah are them that's uncle. a harsh reality too nobody not cares so many guys school for you this know? and it's 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 basics you can get you can you can get insight from people who are in the business managing somebody really take that much skill to be honest not to discredit them or anything it's a lot of work and it's very mm-hmm. time consuming and you have to be like in their life it's a, yeah it's a marriage but you know? it's understanding the business understanding the, the market and understanding what your client is worth essentially so true yeah. I could have clients come, we can't do people too tough. I'm not saying I lie. I'm not like, you're dark in a girl, my darling. You're dark. <laughs> she, midnight. I'm not lie. No, I chew like sometimes. My dad, my dad's so long. I mean, I you're say. You're dark. And then. Uh, what is? You're, um, you're related to Shentia? I wish. Can you have a gunman voice? I'm not lie. Yeah. I'm <laughs> not lie. I'm 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 not lie. I don't know. I'm going to get all of the money we beat together and I could just do a if documentary for them. If you never see a man, sure. I'm going to tell them. No, for Avengers? Me. That's right. All right, cool. No problem. We can fight them all of them, you know. Why? You see, you want to fight them again for no, telling their story. She's aggressive, off. you know. The <laughs> natural no. disposition no, is like, to be see, aggressive. Oh my god! And the thing is, I'm a gentler girl. person. Like I'm, I'm used to dealing with clients that are You're really like difficult. I have a look at sandpaper and I'm gonna just rub your dog. I'm gonna change. But now, like, I'm telling you, you're gonna find him. I can't wait. You're gonna find him. I'm gonna find me. I'm gonna find you. I'm gonna find me. I'm gonna find you. First thing, right? As someone grow, like people grow stuff in my house, I will fit it, you know. Because what the hell in, in a house? In a in her very lovely house, home. like so a very level of the fittest. Like, don't have to eat over breakfast. No, and walk and no, no, get the last piece of bread. My family's really rough. Like them bully you. Like up to now, my auntie them try bully me. Like they bully you from your young. So like I just you have to defend yourself. The first time my auntie back to my father, he said, "Bumba, y'all learn." Like yeah. No, who yeah. should I call at this point? Because you're not a child anymore, so I oh can't even call him by your phone. What about CDA? Like, what the hell? I can't call yeah. CDA. Because, and the thing is, it's not anything physical. It's just like, you know, verb and everything this. I wouldn't, okay, really, my father is rough. I wouldn't say I, I grow rough per se, but my father is very aggressive. And Big I'm, up Denzel. I, yeah, and I'm sort of aggressive Washington? too. Washington? Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh-huh. And like, even if I'm at home and Jeff do some fuckery, I'm going to say, yo, what do you, dog? My father, why are you talking to me like that? Jesus Christ. You're going to kill him, you know? I'm going to say, daddy, I'm not kill him. I'm just going to talk to him. And my father's like, so you have to talk to him like that? I'm going to say, coming from you. Baby, you know? Coming from you. Coming from my father where I get some fuck leak. My father kicked me out of my house. All kind of things. Beaten oh, galore. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Wow. It's a miracle I'm here today. Wow. I was a bad child in all honesty. Oh. Same that for beat me. So oh, I you're a product same. of your environment. <laughs> yes. Mm. That's it. Alrighty. That's yeah. why I'm a dog. I'm a father dog. I'm a auntie dog. I'm a mother dog. I'm a sister dog. Everybody dog. But no, like, and I feel like you could have robbed me, girl. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you could have rubbed me. I feel like that no. work. I feel like you could have walked and she could have been on me. You don't see the person. You don't see the voice. You don't pass the money. But now, like, if there's a rubber out there and you know, I really have the voice, she can do like, yeah, improv. I can, I can she, can do, she can do a VO for you, like a voiceover. That's actually very true. You understand true. if it helps you out. But, but the thing no. is, at the end of the day, it's a really nice voice. It is so. because... When it came to my job and if they were like you do ads, yeah, they, they to wanted the me to do ads. The deep voices, and oh, I say, yeah, because the, man, the first the thing they wanted me is like money. your voice is really girl. nice. Monetize the throat in two ways or one. <laughs> the free throat thing now work again, you know, mama. <laughs> May I tell you? It, yeah, you swallow with your throat. But if you want I, some money, you understand. Lord monetize Jesus. the throat. Oh, yeah, I plan to do it one day, voiceovers. Because nobody voice over that man. At first, I get long ear. Yeah. 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 Are you see good ear? No. At first, I get long ear. 
You just want to run through the air, so ah, it's the air sweep. I'm gonna say, nah, your hand is a comb. Mm-hmm. Your hand must be a tail comb. <laughs> All day, she's just a runner on. What a heap of rain of fun on your head. <laughs> no, my real love the air tanks. Are you a little bit? Millie? Yeah, maybe it is. Okay. Yeah, girl, big up Millie every where? time. Millie from Ambroclean. Amber um, Lane. Lane. Okay, where's Amber Lane exactly? In Africa tree. Africa tree. What? You have lanes in Africa tree. Lanes in, um. Yes, you do. I'm Which broke. lane that's in Africa tree? <laughs> For sure, y'all. Me got Millie still. Anyway. Yo. <laughs> like, no, like me and Perry here. Yo. Like, what? Yeah, you have to stop. <laughs> Why? Uh, Millie boss. Your, Millie Ali, your baby, baby, baby your brush. Mm, but no lie. Like, no, right? Is that tail comb she use? A liar. Yeah, even though right now I'm visually impaired because it's white. It's white. Oh God! Right. Big up Millie again. Uh, Millie have the Big skills. Mm-hmm. Millie come true. Don't frame here too. Come on, come on the video. Oh, come on here the two. Yeah, Millie. Yeah, Millie, Millie come yeah. true. Oh, no. Oh, this though today. No. Oh. Last week. But it's, it's still fresh, 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 fresh and nice like no. any um yeah. national bakery. Oh, my God. So. <laughs> come on up on the kitchen. You understand? Let's <laughs> yeah. see that check. Let's see that check. Got your girl, got your girl. No, Understood. Okay. So we're going into boundaries, which is Daniel's favorite thing. Oh no, God. I don't have anything to say other than you're too wicked and cold. You have beer things to say, Daniel. So she go, so she go right? on. Yeah? So she go on. Oh my God, guys! I the think boundaries. Are... dog. Everybody have a boundary in your life. I love boundaries, though. I'm a boundaries yeah, person. It's very important because yeah. you see, the thing is, if you don't set clear boundaries for people, you'll always find it in an argument with people. Yeah. So you see me now because you know me people... <laughs> We just always set it very clear. So I say, okay, Nathaniel, you know that I'm a little ignorant, so I don't run jokes that fall under the following and I just send mm-hmm. you an email as a friend. Mm-hmm. So, you know, Perry, just check your email. Um, I don't run these types of jokes. Don't say these type of things to me. Mm-hmm. It will not fly. I don't get that fly. email yet. Or Nathaniel, people know, I don't know why you would fly with me. Come here, I was a cause. That is very true Or people true know well. and understand, like, if I'm hungry, that's a boundary for me because people know that don't take anything I say, like, personally, I don't, you know, become hungry right now. Just give me a five. I'm a full stomach sheet and come back again. Five? No, girl, I'm mm-hmm. come prepared today. I'm coming yeah. to the like a KFC. You know, oh, I'm a prayer. Big, yeah. big up. Big yeah. up KFC every time. But listen, I actually listen. No, like, I get in show. a total mood when KFC don't have barbecue. That's the only time. That's when you get me. Crying it's funny because week. they didn't have barbecue wings on the Red Hills Road. And the, the fries are dry, girl. Dry. We're not going to drag KFC right now. No, we're not drag them. We're not drag them, but you know, the all of the KFC, them cheap. now go be up the same time. Yeah. But we still love them. We're yeah. not business. We still like eat fowl. But my thing is, barbecue Whew. is it. If we not have barbecue, is that mean a line one cry period? And people are going to say, all right, miss, I'm going to make it. <laughs> it's emotional right now. I mean, when I'm hungry, I'm going to talk. Yeah. I'm going to talk. Yeah. When I'm I upset, talk. I don't speak either. Yeah. And then people want to prompt you to talk like, no, man, let it out. No, you don't want me to let it yeah. out. So just yeah. give me a second. Just give me some time yeah. and I will regroup. The fact that I'm touch you when I'm ask you if you want to talk about it, boundaries. Boundaries. Don't Boundary, touch me. Yeah. And, if no. I'm ups- and, and also if I'm upset, don't touch me. Like if I'm upset, don't. And that's a boundary for me. That's a very huge bound. Don't touch me. You know, and it, I don't. I rarely get upset. Rarely, because I'm a very understanding person. Really? Wow, well, that's so I'm sweet. Very I wish I could ever say vex. that. Yeah, I'm, ever. I'm, I'm very next empath- days, I'm sure. But yeah. if I'm like really, really, don't. Don't. Personal space. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I never used to have any boundaries. I'm always trying to say, people, I'm here, you know, some boogie, mm-hmm. Yeah, because we're always No, you see, from my meeting, Tanya, I've just been talking to her about people and learning to understand and communication how to and yeah. boundaries. ease off people. Because car. boundaries enables you to train people how to treat you. And it's and um, it's very important yeah. because if you don't train people how to treat you, you know, they think that you accept any Anything, amount of treatment yeah. that they are giving yeah. away. Mm-hmm. So I'm rather somebody say, you know, so then you call mm-hmm. rather than them say, anything we get, then you should take it. Yeah. So I'm rather you Jack say, 2015 me, please. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Just drag her. But yeah, because the thing is, in life, you know, you're trying to figure things out and you want everybody to be your friend. Mm-hmm. Everybody not to be a friend. Yeah. You have to be more s- selective with your space. Yeah. The older you get, the more valuable you become. Yeah. You have to be f- selective with your space. Yeah. Who you're letting into it, mm-hmm. who you're allowing to talk to you, mm-hmm. that type of thing. Like, yeah. you know, certain friends, when you were younger, you had bad influences. I never really mean nothing. Mm-hmm. When you just go bond down to school and call it a day. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. But you see now, as like an adult, when you're setting the tone for how people are going to see you for the rest of your, your life, life and you're yeah. building your personal mm-hmm. brand, mm-hmm. you have to be very selective yeah. about how you curate the people in your space. Yeah. 
whether it be online or in real life, mm-hmm. because online matters too. Because when you apply for the look a job, you might type in at life of nets. Where for me? Yeah, it's have to be you. Sorry, babe. Mm-hmm. No, but the thing is, when them see them, I'll come up and say, "Oh, this girl um have boundaries." But come and tell everybody, say, "Do this me." Mm-hmm. I mean, though I'm um, pass to me come be this yo. Mm-hmm. I mean, he's no friend. I mean, a partial to me this. Come out, this my father, <laughs> right? Um. Is that a boundary though, or no, like a personal trait? <laughs> like, <laughs> what? No, is that a boundary. I don't want the thing is, I always try to make people feel comfortable when they're around me, right? And if they feel comfortable, my girl say, "All right, feel comfortable, but don't do anything or say anything or make me after want to kill you, right?" Why? Because at the end of the day. day D- don't do it because no, you, know, you think you know me but you don't i like people comfortable um, around me like sitting I in a chair think, comfortable like put up your foot comfortable no i think don't put up your foot comfortable with me no, because then you're gonna pass the right place i'm gonna stab you no, up i think you need to burn no. some incense in your house <laughs> what my sister burned them some day no my sister burned them some day uh, i think you need to sage but she house. just said stab up somebody yeah. you both <laughs> You okay. Both encourage, <laughs> you both encourage each other's violent. I'm just That's very, actually very true. It's true. We're probably going to go to each other. Then interview. I'm going to say, then he must say, I'm going to work at a place. I'm going to rock her one. And then he must say, rock her one. Rock her. Yeah. yeah. Like, rock the press over. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> no, how to be tear off rush clothes, but walk up bounce of a peri. Never know the most. Don't do. But I guess if you, no, I'm just confused. I feel like what but the hell is? <laughs> are you guys are you guys serious though, or is this just a, like a character thing? It depends. Like, it depends. Context. It's all about context. Yeah, because sometimes we're joking. Sometimes we're joking. And sometimes and we're, sometimes genuinely, we're serious. genuinely serious. Me never like a rock the woman still. The only reason I made a rock her because she had taken long in the ATM. I didn't want those stars. But she hold the door for me. <laughs> Someone said thanks. Oh you know the people that take half an hour in the ATM and you wonder what the fuck in their coat? I saw somebody Don't say, even get me started because it's like, bitch, you can only do three fucking things. Like, seriously, Jesus Christ. Now you're going to withdraw. You can't deposit. <laughs> you cannot deposit, girl. <laughs> you cannot with your top the of the phone is four numbers girl you can't remember your birthday god no and <laughs> guys you. you can't remember your birthday we'll change girl change it right guys, now guys cyber have, security them have, tip them, them change have, it if it's your them birthday have, them have fast cash you don't want to, one thousand three thousand or five thousand if not press other enter the digital amount jesus christ them have mobile app on your phone where you can look for your balance what you're going to eat much you go check your balance girl forget to look a receipt god no <laughs> Mom God Amelia. no, me not understand why them take so long. Like I make it a sport to go into the machine so and go, come out. Under me too. Two, under not even two minutes, girl. But not girl, even two I minutes. Mean, I'm a race out. like one big clone. Listen, it's like my it's my pee when, when the machine I move slower. Come here, yeah. I want one yourself. Because I'm like, this is not me, guys. This is not me. Right? Like I've literally been in lines and people have been like, she wants some help. No one on huh? like. Give you a proper ATM joke. Me and Jeff in the ATM. Note to self, I don't go to the ATM with Jeff after this story. <laughs> in the ATM with Jeff and I need $18,000, right? Richie? One and eight. Right, balling. Jeff, dog, hurry up now. You see one line outside. Me, yes, babe, but the machine have to come up. I am not the machine. It has to, <laughs> like, like, work, you know? Off. So then, hold on now. Jeff is there in my neck, back, you know? Breathe. Then he'll hurry up now to the... Netanya to all my fright and my press eight thousand dollars. <laughs> so hold on. Uh, when the eight thousand dollar come now, Jeb. You have a job the next day. <laughs> the look what Jeb give me. Uh, if looks could kill, <laughs> Jeb would have came. <laughs> Jeb is like dog, warm to you. So you got my things I win all the cents in here, Mr. Babe. Babe, go tell them tell them some so come. Just just do something. Anything to make yourself feel better. Jeb in there cost me oh, all yeah. Perry. And I'm like, just give me a second so I can put in the right amount this time because you're fretted. I'm gonna press one thousand now instead of ten. Right? <laughs> We see we in there again. I go put back the card. No, we say, oh, when, oh, when we leave, in the car, Jeff said, no, babe, I don't understand why you just couldn't focus. I'm putting the right amount. And I'm sorry that I yelled at you, but you really should have been focused you going the in. I was so scared. You the first in the ATM, I'm frightened. It's never because Jeff in my neck back from that. I just make him stay in the car. I said, no, no babe, is it good? No, you know, one time I was in the JN in New Kingston and like my car got stuck in the machine, right? Don't me are going there. So don't get me don't started. No, hold on, no. Let you know, say you're triggering. No, hold on. You're started. triggering. Hold on, no. The thing is, it was an like NCB coming putting on the jail machine. So, I don't know why. Anyway, so I remember why. Never mind. So <laughs> put in there and like somebody, my dad do it. Give her a moment. Somebody's like. <laughs> Um, you mash up to A. Hey, if you so do that when me in an ATM, I right? come out. I'm going to call my uncle and talk on it. Because it say, take your car. So I'm going to wait for the machine. 
Om du är så jag kan vet. Det är jag. Om du är kibak. Om du är på det här för komma ut. Det är mycket. Jag menar för att det är jag kan vet. Bomba. No, I had to ask. The man, the man here. I'm leaving. Netanya, but my thing is, if you knock on the door while I'm in there and I haven't been in there long, me now come up, me a fist them on to No, I see. Me now come out. Me now come out. Me I call everybody. So Jervis, you all right? Where my barrel? Yeah, the barrel now come again. Them I call Netanya. You good? You do the people do them work. Call all of my friends. Them don't mess with me. Your mother, your bedroom, me in a yard not door. Don't make me done you. You outside? But I'm in an Indian land. I'm in an Indian The card stuck, and it wasn't like a local. It was my US card that got stuck in the machine. So you know me in there boiling. No, me not fair. Boiling so like mad. a cup of soup. I promise you, I'm and in there. And after them, them those people have good, good bank here, and them are rush you. I'm mad. No you lie. know, them are rush for job. Them five bills, lunch money, don't play with me. I, I will own two bills. Two bills. I two bills, we're going to take them, but don't play with me. I will disrespect you already. Don't do it. I will diss you. Out of order. Me eat them, eat them, eat them. I'm not lying. I'm not driving a curve on the topic here. Hold on. What's up with the pass bones? You're not going to eat your ATM, right? Drive a curve, we can't crash. Yo, you, you can't ever broke it at the ATM? That's why next day. No. No. I'm not like broke. Wow. What an aggressive though. No, you see, wow. <laughs> no, you see I usually wear my nails longer than this. And oh. it's not ATM conducive. That's why I start wearing this length now. So then I match I insert myself in at the ATM to take out the card. <laughs> and then the card just broke. And every time I go N C B they're like, um miss. Didn't you just come? Yeah. Me just come. I'm a walk back one next one. What am I supposed yeah, to do? Yeah, because my money is in your institution. How can you assist me? I don't she's, understand. She's like, no, but if you just came, what? So she asked that for sure. Me say, lady, me want me card. Forget my money. Because I'm going to get peer. And that's even my fault. I'm not going to do anything right now. The most I've ever done with a card is accidentally leave it in America. But that's for another story. So it's there. Yeah, right oh, yeah, you mean your card that you didn't miss until months after to how rich you are, Benzema. You didn't even realize you're missing money. Wow. No, it's there right now. Add me on your, on your list it. of people to rob. Oh. But yes. don't, don't add me, come you rob on the back. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> like. <laughs> I'm gonna actually send up a prayer for you. <laughs> no. I'm gonna actually. Maybe we'll go back to the topic. <sighs> no. At hand. That's why you're nice. What sweet me festive but Jesus. yeah boundaries <clears throat> like i realized that a lot of people were i don't say this but because i feel it's my heart but a lot of people were being disrespectful towards me because i started realizing that because me not send a boundary for nobody and everybody can come and race it and say this and i'm gonna feel away which is in in true come really never have the shame tree but no i cannot grow um <laughs> Risky. Yeah, so oh, let me do understand. anything, and me I say no. So one day me have a race up. So all my race, you doesn't know, come me and boats in an hundred meter. Me a race them up, and me I say can't do this. And from that, my friend never passes place again. You know, so you have to be rough with people sometimes when you see them take it overboard because there's like, a line here. Don't guys, put a little two over don't there. Don't let it reach that point because yeah, I true. love all of my friends and I don't want to eat their heads off. I'm Why? always very clear, so they would never get the chance to do that. You get me? So you have to be clear from in the beginning. When I just meet people, people think I'm quite dramatic. I'm like, oh, you know, if you want to be my friend. And you don't want us to thrive. Here's some things to do. Mm-hmm. Then you don't, I feel like I don't um, subscribe to you as a friend. No, it's not because you piss me off daily. That's why we can't <laughs> thrive because you don't know. But it's the first time you talk to me every single day. Um, I've had. We all make mistakes. I've had. <laughs> I've had friendships where there's actually a, there's actually an ex friend of mine who I had to you know, disassociate myself with based mm. on the fact that you know going into. I think it was 2018 we're going into and I had a conversation with him and I said to him, I said, there are certain things about you and our friendship that I don't appreciate and I would love for you to change, change them. Yeah. You understand? New and year. you have to give them like opportunity mm-hmm. to change or, you know, opportunity to hang themselves, you know, the opposite of change. Um, and we went into the new year and, you know, they displayed that trait again. And I was like, hmm, okay. And I think it was probably the second or third time. I was just like, okay, yeah, this is it. This, this is it, Michael Jackson. So this wait, hold on. Is... Did, you, did you say formally? Because I realized it's kind of like a blurred line. Because some people say when you stop talking to people, you just stop and you just move on. Or did you have like a conversation since it was your friend to say? Um, actually, there were some things transpired with myself and my other two friends. And they also like were privy to the you know what i was talking about and um it was just something some something that was it's so obvious 
that I had this conversation. They didn't have the conversation, you know. I had the conversation. But it was so obvious to the point that you know that you're in the wrong because I spoke to you about, about this prior. Before, yeah. Um it was funny because he was drop actually dropping drop, drop me to the airport one time and we we're actually talking about it. I'm a talker. You're not I'm very understanding in yeah. regards to a lot of things and I would take things and I would take things as at face value and I would say, Okay, this is it and what are we gonna do? Because I'm okay separating ways and I'm okay staying. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, I understand. So it was a situation where you did what you did, you apologized, but I have to love you from a distance. Because and I will no apo- longer apo- allow apo- you apologies to apologies change behavior though. That's a real apology. Yeah. Is making a change. You're right. To, to respect Effort you. has to come Effort behind. has to come. Because, I mean, there are lots of people in my life who want to be like, oh, you know, Daniel, I'm sorry. But if every time you do this, all you can say to me is, I'm sorry. sorry. Yeah, it and doesn't then, mean anything to me. in two weeks, we're Said back friend, at the same. Hold on. Friend, take notes. Come on. No, you watch this. And I'm no, you listen. Continue. Yeah. If, if you keep saying, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And you, people have to act mm-hmm. dramatic when I don't talk to them. Because you know, people think I'm cold. But I don't think I'm necessarily cold. I just think that boundaries are so important to mm-hmm. me i feel like i'm doing myself a disservice if i allow you to keep disrespecting me yeah so even though i love you i could love you to death mm-hmm. but it means that i have to stop talking to you because you disrespecting me it can't be something that i love and yeah. if you really loved me as much as you say you love me you by not. professing oh my god i love you and i'm sorry yeah. you would change yeah. so that's the best apology really. and it's so funny because even in any type of ship friendship relationship i just find it very strange that people are just very free to be like i love you and you know you are this person to me but there's no action behind to, it to match it it doesn't yeah. it doesn't it doesn't, it doesn't i'm a, I'm, I'm, I'm i'm somebody who my love language is acts of service Aww. so i would love for, I, I don't i don't i don't care i don't want to hear Aww. that you love me okay show me i can look at you and look at the things that you've done for me to be like you know that person that really, me. really rate you yeah you understand what i'm saying show me that you love me do do things that I value because I deem those things as invaluable. I can always look back at those things and say, Bomba, that person did do this for me. But if every day the enemy is there to tell me, you love me, you love me, you love me, okay, that, that, don't, that means zero to me. Mm-hmm. You know, the thing is, a lot of people start doing those stuff when they realize they're going to lose the person. Yeah, yeah it, a lot of people and that's wait what I'm saying. Like, the these are conversations that people should have pretty early but the thing is people make it seem like having conversations about these things is like mm-hmm. too dramatic to have you know it's this connotation no of too early feelings. to be having a conversation like this or it's too early to also, be hitting a serious issue because it's just people, like a lot of people any type of ship relationship friendship a lot of people rush into things facts you don't That's need true. to you don't need to rush take time so a lot of the things that you need to employ a lot of things that takes time to get to know are now jaded by experiences let's say for instance it's a friendship if every saturday or every week you and this friend are got movie and you just love movies so a lot of things become jaded because you're just like bomba but i have such a good time a with good them, great time going to the movies, movies. or yeah. if you're in a relationship and all now do i have sex and yeah a lot of that clouds and a lot of that jades your judgment when it comes to certain things so you'll be you, you start to allow things to happen in the relationship I that mean, you I think do not appreciate and then, you know something that really affects how i cut off people or move away from people is i actually hate change so then it's Same. like i get so used to a pattern so mm-hmm. okay every day i get up and me and netanya talk and oh i just realized that me and then you are actually the same person so Come. i long time mm-hmm. sadly i don't really like you but mm-hmm. That's fine. so every day i get up and i talk to netanya and i'm so used to talking to mm-hmm. netanya and then i'm just like Jesus Christ, it's anyone she tells me I forgot to cut off she to know. I'm mm-hmm. just bomba, like me can't keep on front other than Jeff. This is so sad. Like, what the hell is my life? And then mm-hmm. he's like, me start to say, alright. Me just make sure go and be shit a little longer. And then he's like, me realize I said, no, this is doing me a disservice. So I have to stop talking to Netanya. But then no, because let's say certain things Netanya never understand from the jump, it will seem to her like I, it was a rash decision, mm-hmm. if you get what I'm saying. So she's gonna be like, okay, so I did this a couple of times. So why then you couldn't still be my friend throughout this? Mm-hmm. Because people think that you are obligated to forgive them forever, you know? Mm-hmm. They don't expect there to be a yeah, cutoff point yeah. to forgiveness. It's like if we're friends, and it's you common should in forgive. a lot of relationships. A lot of people just allow things. Yeah, just some, it's like, like okay. you're supposed to forgive me forever. How could you stop forgiving me? And those relationships to me are fickle. They're very baseless. A lot, mm-hmm. There are a lot of baseless friendships, especially here in Jamaica. Like Uptown, oh my God, don't even get me started. <laughs> that is why like a lot of people always come to me and say, I want to be a friend. And I said, no, you can't be my friend. Because if you want to be my friend, we can't be friend. I'm not a friend with you just so. You, you're showing an interest and it's like, 
because I have really bad experience with people who just come to me on mm-hmm. social media and say I want mm-hmm. to be your friend, I'm going to accept it. The thing is, why do you want to be my friend is a question me? that I tend to ask. Because, because, you, because don't it's like, you don't know me. You don't know me. You don't know me. So me what is it about me? Why you choose me out of the, everybody on the internet to want mm-hmm. to be friends in? Oh, you seem interesting. No. I was going to say that it, it, I think it has a lot to do with interest. Your interest tying with your life. And that to me, that's not a basis to, to be, be friends. friends yeah. Because yeah. Mm-hmm. Seeing somebody and knowing them and hanging around them and living with them is two, two different, different things. More I see me around, I'm going to jump and you laugh. I'm going to say, Bomba, I'm my friend this because she seems to be distressed. <laughs> because and yeah, you can be in a relationship with somebody or a friendship with somebody, and it's not until probably six months in you really realize who the person is. And the thing is, I also believe you never really know a person. Yeah, mm. that's true. Sometimes they because just pop up with something. Because you see, I have serious um, trust issues. Right mm. now, I struggle for just tr- trust myself. <laughs> like, me really, no, I'm not trusting at all. Like, that's my issue that I have with Netanya. Netanya is so trusting mm-hmm. that sometimes I just want to lick her over in her head because it's like certain things is like right in front of her. <laughs> But because Netanya is such a good person, she projects that good on other people. So they Isn't aren't true. good, but because she's such a sweet person, she said, right, everybody stay like me. And she just invites people into her house and makes Sunday dinner for them. And then two twos, you know, girl. she's getting subbed, you know? No, it's unfortunate. Then you listen to so specific. You have to be very <laughs> no, careful of who you invite so into your space. Specific, then no, but that's okay. is very inviting, though. Yeah. That's just how she is. She's really like, a sweet That is person. my personality. That's her I, personality. I can't help it. Like she I'm don't really know what trusting. I think I just want to see somebody say, "Hey, hi, friend." But no, that's the thing. I don't quick they to call people my friend, friend and I don't quick to be friends with people. Space, but I really and hang out with them in. and kiki ki online mm-hmm. with them more stuff. And you don't really need to do that. It's not that you need to be hype or anything. Cause I really believe in being humble mm-hmm. at all times, no matter what stage you are in life. But I, but okay, but I, yeah. I'm very humble. But I, I'm a bit of both. I'm very specific. There, you can I'm never, you can, you can never, you can never, you can never be humble because there's uh, five, six people out there who are gonna be like, should I? That is also very true. <laughs> because if you said, if you know, if you don't, if you, if somebody follow you and you don't follow them back, oh, should I? Because you have so much followers, should I? No, oh, I just yeah, don't want to f- in that regard. Yeah, no, Netanya, you know? Netanya, the other day, Netanya was like, Daniel, there's you no, follow way too many people. There's no I'm like, winning. okay, how many people I need to follow? Netanya, six. Me, Very what? True. So, Mr. One, unfollow like all these hundreds of people now. What next? Nothing. Just unfollow all them. You need to follow me, Jeff, and she made a whole list of six people. It's funny how interesting the Twitter space is. <laughs> it's no, very, I said it's this. It's so interesting how the Twitter space is because. Back in, when I used to tweet a lot back in the day, ah, uh, back lot. in the day, uh, yeah, because because it became such a toxic space. Yeah, cause Twitter used to be nice, now. Twitter, the good old days. Twitter used to be very nice, but the adverse side of Twitter was trolling back in the day. Yeah. It used to be very cool, and I can admit that back in the day that I was a troller, a huge troller, until like got to a point where I was just like, I'm not getting anything. I'm not getting anything personal from this. Like, I don't get anything but retweets and likes. And it's not doing me any good to tear somebody but else down. Dumb. Like, it used to be like a sport. Mm-hmm. Like, you would go out of your way to find something to yeah. troll somebody. And it mm-hmm. got it, it got to a point where I was just like, this is this is not for me. And even, even to this day, you know, it's not as bad. But the trolling still exists. And I just, I just don't support it. And it's just funny because... The people who are with you today on Twitter are not no. the same people who are with you. No. And I'm going to drag you at 2 o'clock. Yeah, you want them to drag you at 2 o'clock, 4 o'clock, they're going to drag you. That's why I'm just very selective of who it is that I say my friend or who I laugh with online because at the end of the day, you know, when them start drag me and say, oh, Daniel, this is the same people that laughing with me. And that is that them are going to drag it's you. It's funny because I had, to, I had to block, like coming up into being quite very, I had to block some people because I realized that I was like, bitch. <laughs> No, you just <laughs> did a body clap for me like two days ago. Body clap. That's my new mm-hmm. term. I'm sorry. Yeah. I have to borrow no, that. you just yeah, did a body clap for me two days ago. Why now? Yeah, talk about. Oh, yeah. So apparently it always stay rated. Right Bitch, block. 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 And it's funny because. And I blocked by association, which is why she did get blocked. Yes, that's very mm-hmm. true. She I'm got blocked. blocked. She got blocked. No, you're yeah, unblocked now. I'm blocked you. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's why we could have tagged him in one tweet earlier. Yeah, I am blocked okay, you. Sense. She got blocked by association. It was nothing personal. To be honest, yeah. if somebody blocked me, I don't take it personal. That's very true. That's it's true. just that you don't want me in your space, and that's fine. I don't know you. You understand? Exactly. If you block me, it's cool. You just don't want me in your space, and that's, and fine. that's fine. And my fine. space is my space. This is my platform. I'm free. I have full right to do whatever I want to do on my 
platform. You understand? No, I think she got blocked by a social because I think some people were trolling me. I should go retweet it. And no, I, I like the tweets. Oh, you like? I like the tweets. I like the tweets. That's, that's me because me I believe, block, 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 I believe block, block. retweeting is um, an endorsement. An endorsement. Don't play with me. I like, don't. Like, it's not that serious. It is. I'm watching I don't you. Care about you. I don't care about you saying, oh, I just want other people to see it or I don't think yeah, it was that's funny or I... I just want people, other, other people to be a part of the excitement. No, no it's no, an endorsement. No, no. It's an endorsement. It's an endorsement. Yeah. Retweeting is an endorsement. Even if you put it in a little bio, retweet's not equal to endorsement. It no, still it's is. an yeah. endorsement. Yeah. And yeah. It's not personal, as I said, but you just get it's blocked. And I didn't even know I blocked you because I don't know you from nowhere, to be honest. Very true. But never knew her from nowhere. Yeah, I actually remember when we saw him the first time he met me, he was like, are you my block? Yeah. Like, I've never, I've never I said, met I this girl it. anywhere. No, I've never seen him alive yet. I promise you. I mean, I go places. You might see me out, but I mean, I go places. I know her from nowhere. <laughs> so I know her personally. If you take it, you understand? If you take it personally. But I just think it's, it's so space, funny how it's man. just even, um, what's her name? The Alyssa T. Sang girl. Mm-hmm. Um, how a couple days before everybody was just like, oh my God, she, it's, you guys are so wrong. She didn't steal the hair. Hooray, hoorah, hoorah. And then two days later, she posts a video saying, oh, you know, I'm so nervous to post this video. And everybody literally just like tore her apart and, and that's the thing it's it, just it's just it's, I, did, it's, I think there's a difference with the trolls back then and trolls now know. because trolls back then we were all sincerely just trying to make a joke, joke. Mm-hmm. but no it's there almost like they're trying to is that there's an agenda behind it like they're trying to tear apart your character they're trying to turn people against it becomes as you say personal now trolling people and it's not a joke it's not a joke but they're still trying to make sense to me it just don't make any sense Mm -hmm. it literally does not make any sense like i can tweet about you and not come in your personal space i can say something about you and not so i can tweet about a company without you knowing that that's the company i'm I'm talking about. about yeah if you understand what I'm saying, like you don't have but, to take it there. But people for the enjoy space to be being that able toxic. to bully people online. I just don't because get you it. can't be like seen. Annoying. I can't. It's you, not they fun. Don't, you don't know where they are. You don't know who they is. But so the they can is, talk all the shit that they that want in hopes that you never bought them ever. No, some people, social media is just them whole life. They, they, if they come true. off the internet, if like go away for one day, them don't have nothing to do with themselves. And the thing is, because people find them so interesting online, they genuinely believe that they're an interesting person. You're not interesting. It's you're funny boring. because meeting half these two people in person is like, girl, I no, say, they, I say you didn't see a bad. And I was, <laughs> nah, no, I was see like, a bad girl. I was like, some of you guys have a lot of followers because you follow a lot of people. People don't find it interesting, and Jesus people are like. Christ okay not because you follow a handful of like people and i say yeah because i choose mm-hmm. to put these people in my space if i don't see your content if people keep retweeting it and i don't like what you're putting out i block you if i see somebody retweeting thing one time i'm going on your profile i'm gonna like what you tweet i'm gonna block you yeah, and i know this trying to turn away, away but if it's one thing i hate about it now everybody is some thought leader in something like oh, oh, my, lead nobody, like, oh my god because, because i about- the great said this that this is not an influencer it is not an influencer i cannot be influenced and then all of a sudden everybody gone for google now and it just turned into this i don't get it like everybody has something to prove about knowing more about a topic than another person when no, no, you no, no, can no. just come share and we different opinions so you can oh, say X, you can't my, have your own opinion you can't have your own opinion you on everybody's okay, a party leader this, and you can't disagree with this is a with big them. thing for me a lot of people do not know how to communicate <laughs> A lot of people. They tell you, your friend. They tell you, I was like, wait, I'm mm, here about me. <laughs> no, a lot of people do not know how to communicate. And it's such a big thing for me because I can have a conversation with you, Danielle. And I can disagree with what you're saying. And I do not have to be rude, rude to you. Rude about it. You get me? It's like. Your opinions. But, is it going to be funny if I'm not rude? That's, that's their thought process. Uh, yeah, but your opinions are not based but in so, fact. But your opinions have your to opinions be funny. Your opinions are not based no your opinions are not based in fact it's like an the thing is, i can literally have a full-on conversation with you on twitter and i can reply to you i could get what you're saying and we could both agree to disagree and move forward but why does it have to be as like she does and she not understand and she this and she's only saying that because of this no yeah just like on why are you berating me because i have a and different I, I, the thing is i come about i come across many opinions that i agree with or disagree with on twitter and whether I agree or disagree, I just don't say anything to yeah. on either sides because at the end of the day, I know I can't say to somebody, I agree with what you said about that. But, but this is my but, view. But this on is my such. view on it, and mm. it ends well because I remember once 
a friend of mine said something and I replied to her and it turned into a thread of arguments. Then she deleted all of her responses and then she blocked me and we're no longer friends. Mm-hmm. And that's my, some thing, time, girl, my thing is, why, why we can't communicate? Why can't I disagree with you? Yeah. And that's why I don't like to yeah, talk because about everybody. A lot is, of people come across as if, oh, mine is what? the end all and yes, the all and your opinions are not valid my opinions are valid i have a voice i, I feel this way about I think that, um, something because that's of true what i'm exposed to in life we all have lived life. different lived experiences yeah. so you a lot of people just don't know how to communicate that, and it's such a big thing what for I me have to say. it's such a big like thing it. for me and then people find like another reason to blame you for saying what you say so i made a tweet one day and this girl it was about science students and how i felt about the whole situation right mind you a piece of what i said never makes sense because i admit that it never makes sense after people having a conversation with me and showing me say this part is kind of baseless some mm-hmm. of the area cool this girl jump in because they have so much followers on twitter i mean they can tweet shit no it doesn't and, and I'm, I'm just like, like what so i said to her what does my follow count have to do with no but the thing is she wanted my, to drag you about opinion. that a long time ago yeah, so it made, so this, is the first, wait, this is the first i'm seeing this twitter account and it makes almost they wait ago. until you know you say something just so they can jump in and say oh this because i never like yeah, never like time, time. Yeah. so, so can't say it yeah no. girl yeah because you have too much follower is, they're afraid that if them say it when nothing is going mm-hmm. on they seem better they and seem a better, lot of right? times a lot of no. times people project their insecurities on you she mm-hmm. you're you're probably in a position in which she wants to be in and you have to be very careful because they themselves expose themselves so she in reality, wants to have your followers. A good babes, babes, at 332 followers that have me here, so... No, <laughs> she, she wants your followers. That's it. Because you having a follower account has nothing to do, do with your opinion. You understand? So yeah, but I, they I bring up a lot in, of in early what people shit. say. And like, not what them say, but like how them say things about mm. other stuff and other people. Mm-hmm. Because I did read a book that said people always project their, their insecurities Yeah, man, some girl can't read. You have to be... Themselves, so you can't take it personal. I remember when I, j- when, I, when, I, when I had my first... Um, had a TV show on CBM TV, and the first day, first night that aired, there was a lot of people sending me, you know, love and whatever. Even though it wasn't like the best in terms of editing and graphics, because everybody have to start somewhere. Somewhere, mm-hmm. yeah. The show have to grow. When the William show was not the same HD camera it is today, it never have five hundred people in the audience. You understand? But this girl was literally like dragging me like down on the internet, and she was she literally exposed herself. She was like. I better them. I better them did call me for um was the show, and I'm like, you just that's, want why, to you're that's why you're upset. upset. You're not you're not upset with me or my show. Mm-hmm. Listen, you just want to be on TV, and it's, it's and her bio said aspiring. T- you understand? Yeah. She give herself. No. no, you know, so there's somebody like that who just dragged me from a podcast. Who dragged me from a blog. blog? Okay, when she was just like, um, why are you always um blogging? Who told you that you can write? People that always I read and I share at them, yeah. at them tell me mm-hmm. and me tell me, so yeah. I'm still writing. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And she's just like, You're always blogging. Why? Because I want to Then know. she started a blog like a week after there you go. and made like two posts and then the blog don't know. Yeah. And I'm hold still on. blogging. But now. same, hold on, no. sis. I was like, Your podcast is nice, but and it's like, you know. Because I started a podcast before this, mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. I stopped because mm-hmm. I just let, graduated from UA and we never have no work. Somebody mm-hmm. were very sad. Mm-hmm. I was not lazy. Facts, no. Retweet. And then <laughs> him dragged me for start about this now. Mm-hmm. And when I just did the first one, she was like, your podcast is nice, but you can't do this. I need, you don't need to talk like that. And one bugger thing, sisters, that podcast, fine. I don't care. Because we're considered, <laughs> no, we're considered to be friends. So I'm not going to drag you Who is this for person? your uninteresting topic. <clears throat> same person we're speaking about Ooh. um and then no we'll show you off air yeah and, and now make no. it a problem Wait, hold on. it's the same person i'm talking about who was dragging me on um about the show we don't know we don't know we if don't it's the same person i forgot go home if it's no, the same person i'd go home person, for you go in. yeah and then no Expose she came to her <laughs> she exposed the girl uh, Expose her. Anyway, she came ex- to me expose i'm not exposing anybody expose a dream as a dream i had my id yeah but she came to me and she was like um, I like your podcast now. I, um, I, I'm going to do one and I'm really taking notes from what you're doing. You're doing so. So, I said, girl, but at the same podcast, I just have somebody else from the coach to me right yeah. now. So, like, what's the big deal? Mm. I thought the same way. I had said the same The same thing notes them. that she had same from no- last time. Yeah. The same notes that she had from last time. But you're not giving the, big, the, the best part that she hasn't listened? Yeah. And she, she said she liked the podcast, but, but she, she doesn't listen to it. it. 
she's yet to listen, but she likes it. So, so I'm trying to something that you don't listen to. <laughs> so how she like it? I don't know. But she's like, I'm very big on that though. People saying that they don't like things that they haven't experienced, but that's but that's different, okay. That's she's, she's just different day. She's that's just not going day. to do anything. She just don't want to see other people doing it. And that's what Twitter is like. Okay, okay. them can't yeah, celebrate. So she's just going to stop Twitter. About that's it. My podcast. Yeah, all but the time. those people, those people don't normally do well in life. Okay. So <laughs> we're going to close let us wrap right this up. Let us close on that note because I see that. The shit. Anyway, thanks Perry for coming on my show. I really appreciate Big it. Big up on herself, on a nice clean self, but nah, line of being that Jesus spit. This is nice. Yeah, for clean. Oh, big up Martin. Oh, big up the photographer guy. You know the KC shot that him nah let go. Big up, big, big, big up audience. Yeah, chilling on the farm. You <laughs> big up the producer, the audience girl. You understand? Big up the O's. You have a co-host. Yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been a few times. Perry never tell another friend because I don't know which part of Perry they. Follow me on Instagram, on Twitter, on Facebook, on YouTube at Quite Perry. Wow. <laughs> well, no, follow me on everything. Don't follow me already. And then subscribe to this channel, YouTube yes. channel. Yes, subscribe. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Follow our read our blog. Yeah. Your time. I have a podcast. You guys are watching it now. Uh-huh. And listening. <laughs> and, yeah. listening. and listening. And you can chance. follow me at Life of Nets. Yeah. yeah, that's you. Wanna follow them and support them. Yeah, guess them. Yeah, it's an yeah. IGL. Yeah. Who have nice foods? All of we. 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 All of we